Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about A ninety eight questions. Be wise for us of subarrays. We have an array A of non negative integers. For every contiguous subarray B equal to A i to A j with i less or equal to j, we take the be wise or else of all the elements in B, obtaining a result A i or A i plus one or etc. A j. Return the number of possible results. Results that occur more than once. Are only counted once in the final answer. So let's look at some example. For example, if we have number one, two, three, and then we can have the following subarrays. It will be one, two, three, one, two, one, three, two, three, then one, two, three. So one has bitwise notation. Zero, one, two is one zero, three is one one. So this already have three. One two one or two is one, or two should equal to. Or one one. Or two, one or three should be one or three. It still equal to one one. Two or Three should equal to one zero or one one equal to one 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 or two or three. There'll be zero one or one zero or one one equal to one one. So it should return one two three. Only three of these are unique uh, result. So. If we we do this in a brutal force way, what can we learn from this example? Is that if we do this in a brutal force way, this is gonna take two to the n power time complexity, which is not a good sign. This is one of the DP questions, so let's look at and then try to see how we can solve a sub problem. So if we have array i, this is i's position. This is i plus one's position, and then for i's position, we have this bitwise. For previous array of i, will generate, um, different results. So we all, the sub array, we we all the elements. We pick like certain elements from. A zero to A i, and then all them together, it should give like different result, and we keep all unique result in a hash set. Then for A i plus one, what we're gonna do is that this will return a hash set one. We all add every element in this hash set, and then all the work with this. Unique number i plus one. Now let's see the code. So this block is me just checking on whether it uh it is a edge case that we don't have anything in the array. We just return zero. Then we initialize two set. The first set is called return set. We're gonna return. We're gonna store every unique answers inside this red, and then return red dot size. And the second one is for me just keep two. Counting what will be all the answers, the the unique answers from the previous several arrays. Now first, we know a zero has to exist because length doesn't equal to zero. So we're gonna add a zero to prev and red. Then for each element in array, except the first one, we're gonna initialize each one as a new hash set called current. And then we're gonna add AI to red and current because we know that AI can be a unique should be one possible unique set for the unique answers for inside the return. Then we look through all the unique answers we get from previous ors bitwise ors, and then uh yeah that's two current sets so. After we loop through this for loop, 
and then we update this current as previous, which means that for this step, the current unique answers will be next step's previous unique answers. So we're building, uh, we'll try to solve the problems from its sub problems and building it up. Finally, we're going to return red dot size. Let's submit. Yeah, we did it. That's it. Thanks for watching.